What's up? It's the Ruckus Hummer coming at you. I'm here, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con 2024. This is the Hasbro Press Breakfast. You see the logo right there. And uh, yeah, I'm in the house and uh, going to show you guys some of what they got going on. Starting right here. Some of their Transformers stuff, all new Transformers heads. I know we don't really cover them on the channel, but that doesn't mean that anyone that does view my channel isn't interested. So you can see what we got going on here. We got stuff from Transformers 1. You can see. They got all kind of merch going on here for the movie that's coming out. Yes, indeed. And you got here from uh, the Earth Spark. Look at this right here from Lego. Pretty cool. We even have uh, footwear, Transformers footwear. So we're going to uh, go in and uh, I'll be uh, showing off some of what they got going on throughout. Here on the Marvel side of the house, this is from their latest uh, reveal. You've got Dracula, that was my bucket list item. You've got Lilith, of the Lilith, and that's a uh, Danny Ketch Ghost Rider villainess. You've got Damon Hellstrom, Hellverine, Doc slash Brother Voodoo. You've got the physical culture himself, Moon Knight. And then there's Bloodstorm from the Ultimate Storyline, the Exiles, what have you. And the builder figure is Blackheart. Yes, indeed. We got over here some reveals, that things that got revealed right here at this meal. You've got Kang in his chair, rendering my uh, my custom uh, null and void now. And you got Sentinel two packs. They're of the they're smaller, you know, but they're Marvel Legends series. Uh, in case people are like, well, what do you do with them when they're this size? Back in the day, there was a storyline where the Sentinels were just a little bit bigger than human beings. So you could still find use for them in your collection. And we, of course, have the HasLab, the giant man HasLab there. It's all the parts, the the, uh, the antenna, and the different face plates, including the zombified one. Ugh, look at that right there. We've got Death's Head. That was, uh, that, that's uh, an exclusive for him. Pretty cool. And I can't remember if Death Head is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive or just an exclusive that's going to get uh, 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 sold here at the con first. Either way, it's an exclusive of some kind. But there we go. And there's Giant Man himself. There's the real packaging, which makes for a nice diorama display. And here on the, the other Marvel Legends uh, table that they have here. They've got uh, Odin being uh, messed with by uh, Smile for the Camera. We have got Wade himself, Hello. Unparalleled Universe in the house, doing his thing. One all father to the next. We've got Estancia Wolverine. You guys can, of course, uh, that's a couple videos back to see that review. And you've got Cage and Iron Fist, Ghost Rider, Danny Keck style. You got the Cabal right there in the center, Taskmaster, Doom, and of course Iron Patriot, aka Norman Osborn. There's Scar, you got Venom, you got the Hulkbuster, Miss Marvel slash Warbird, and of course the Superior Spider Man. Deadpool merch. You got these, they were already out. There have been leaks of uh, figures from the movie. Uh, in their respective costumes. There's supposed to be two versions of Wolverine. One in the yellow costume, and I don't know what the other is supposed to be. The yellow costume that got revealed, he's got the sleeve, so maybe the second version, he's sleeveless, but 
we will see. And of course, you got heads and what have you. Next up, we got Star Wars. This right here is the uh, SDCC exclusive Darth Maul and his uh, Sith speeder. We got Staff and Battle Droid. And of course, we've got the Moth Gideon premium helmet right there. Next, we have. We've got uh, a four pack. I'm, I believe this is a. a a reveal for the uh, the press breakfast. Because I don't recall seeing this before. Look at this for back here. Yes indeed. And then here they are displayed. Very, very nice. You've got the Yoda and Kong Commander Green right here. Yoda even comes with a, uh, a chair. And uh, give me a second here, I'm letting uh, one of my, my colleagues get his bang on. We have what was just recently revealed for the Vintage Series, the uh, Mark Gideon Hallway Play Set, which is modular. You can get as many of these as you can handle and fit them and configure them in any kind of way that you can imagine. And they all come with a, a Mandalorian privateer, so it's a generic uh, figure, so you can only build that, it's all good. You've got Captain Enoch and uh, the Night Troopers. There's some more of those uh, Mandos that uh, don't uh, necessarily follow the way. And then you've got, of course, Mando himself and both the tank. Indeed. Then, of course, over here, we've got the New Republic E-Wing. It's got that so you can see that. Got uh, P4 N4. This is from the Ahsoka show. Very nice. Moving over for some more stuff. We've got uh, big heads and other, uh, you know, there's Grievous over there. We got the N1 Starfighter. Pretty nice there. And we're going to round this up with G.I. Joe, classified. This is the HazLab that we're still waiting to come out. The Dragonfly, the Soul Copter, crazy thing, and look at that. Very, very nice. This is what we get with it, everything that we get. Can't wait till I get mine. I believe they're not coming out until like December. Still have to just wait. Here's the uh, the art for um, the figures that we get. So yeah, let me step back so we can catch it all in. There it is. And then here on the floor is the packaging. So yeah, this is going to be very, very, very nice. And then we've got one more table. Let me get around my man here. So we got another review. We've got the Edward Stone Buster Skyline. I don't believe we've seen him before until just this moment here at the press buses. And then here is the once a man Cobra Commander, number 130. Look at that. He's an exclusive that you can only get here at the con. Some will be available a little bit later after the con. But look at that. Pretty cool. It's pretty nice. And that's what we're going to show for right now. I don't want this to be crazy long. Uh, but I will be updating it as the uh, as the con, as the convention uh, progresses. So uh, until you see me again, y'all, this is the ruckus here at the press breakfast for Hasbro, San Diego Comic Con 2024. And we out. We're going to do this, like I said, uh, I'll update as they come in, because that's how it gets done.